Hello and welcome to another episode in Gary's Food Review. And I'm here at Jack in the Box. And I'm here to try the Philly Prime Rib Cheese Steak Sandwich, which is the last sandwich in the food truck series. Mmm, check out that gooey goodness. And yeah, the prime rib Philly cheesesteak sub sandwich was really good. Has the slices of the prime rib steak on it with lots of melted Parmesan cheese on it. We cut up onions and bell peppers all over this with this nice melted garlic butter inside on the steak. And the, the, the bread is like uh, slightly toasted so it just gives it like a really nice warm juicy taste like the steak it's really tender and just melts in your mouth and goes really good with the bell peppers and onions and the pomelon cheese and that melted garlic butter really adds to the peppers and onions along with the steak and yeah it's a really good sandwich and it's probably my favorite out of the other food truck series sandwiches this is the best better one I like them all, but this is like the best one out of the three. And yeah, the sandwich costs about over five bucks after tax. About the average price for this type of sandwich. This is how much you probably pay at like other places like Subway and Charlie Grill Sub and Quiznos. Maybe it's a little bit cheaper. I know a lot of the places are like maybe six bucks or so. But yeah, you get a really good Philly cheesesteak sub at Jack in the Box. And I really liked it. It's not like the best Philly cheesesteak I ever had. I think my favorite is still Quiznos, followed by Charlie Grill Sub. But this one is up there with Subway's, maybe even better than Subway's steak sandwich. So yeah, with that said, overall, on the food taste scale, overall, I'm gonna have to give the Philly cheesesteak sub from Jack in the Box a, da -da -da, a nine out of 10. Definitely a good sandwich and definitely recommend you give this one a try. Anyways, this is it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye bye.